The stunts we see in film can be so dangerous and complex, they only get one chance to get it right. How did these crews fare? We're checking out how Tom Holland's Spider-Man soared, Millie Bobby Brown doing highly complex stunts in a corset, and the performers who literally lit up the screen on fire in Game of Thrones. Let's check out all these stunts behind the scenes. And a journalist goes, what's wrong with you? And I said, well, I do all of my own stunts. Just like pretty much everyone else, we're huge Tom Holland fans. And he gives us even more reason to love him when we see him checking his stunts behind the scenes. Check out what it actually looks like when he surprisingly hops out of the top of a bus. By the way, after seeing this behind the scenes footage, we can definitely understand why Zendaya wouldn't have had to act out those screams. Before he did Spider-Man Far From Home, he amazed us with his stunts in Spider-Man Homecoming. Many of Holland's stunts were actually done in the studio while wearing a motion capture suit. This was probably for the best since all of these stunts were so intense. He performed these amazing feats and then that footage was incorporated into the scenes that we see in the film. Check out how cool these acrobatic stunts look in a studio with mats. Oh, remember when he was vertically climbing this grate? In reality, it was a bit more horizontal. Millie Bobby Brown has done it again. Going behind the scenes is pretty surprising, not because it looks so different from the movie, but because it looks so similar. As we can see here, her intense boxing style fights with Helena Bonham Carter is anything but fake. Brown is actually a big fan of boxing and has been since she was young. Judging from what we can see here, that's not a surprise at all. Let's also remember the fact that both performers face the added danger element of wearing a corset and period shoes, which could have completely thrown either of them off while shooting. Oh, and how can we forget about Brown's head being plunged into this bucket of water? Was it real? Yes, it very much was. Keep splashing, I was like, okay, I'm splashing. I was like, literally felt like I was at a Shamu show. So we're pretty sure that we can all agree Jennifer Lawrence is a total boss in The Hunger Games. Not only is she an incredibly skilled fighter, she does it all with a bow and arrow in tow, ready to take out anyone who gets in her way. Just look how fast she moves with it. That takes some serious skill. Bows and arrows weren't the only weapons on set though. These terrifying axes totally raised the bar. Oh, and this insane tree climb? Yeah, she did get a bit of help with wires to pull that one off. Of course, we can't forget this giant spinning rock. In reality, it was just that. A giant spinning rock. We can't even imagine how nauseating this take must have been to shoot. Yeah, bit average, bit blur. First, we're gonna focus on the intense Battle of Winterfell scene from the third episode of the final season. Just look at how many people there are to coordinate. That itself is a huge feat. It wasn't just people though. The team had this whole crew of unpredictable horses for castmates as well. As if what we've seen wasn't intense enough, let's check out these performers on fire. Literally on fire. While you might think this is CGI, it is 100% the real intense fiery deal. The performers were wearing special fire resistant fabrics and are coated in a kind of gel that holds the flame but keeps the actor safe. We burn more people than anybody else, basically. Have you ever wondered how films accomplish epic car flips while somehow filming the actors' faces pretty perfectly? We are going behind the scenes with Black Panther to give us a bit of a clue. This mechanism is unreal. Black Panther also had some huge battle scenes that included loads of people, but not only that. They were also wielding loads of dangerous weapons like the swords we can see here. And how can we forget this weapon-wielding water bottle? Talk about making a splash. Loads of the battles in this Marvel movie have long, complicated hand-to-hand -hand combat sequences. While it doesn't look as risky as, say, a sword fight, these scenes require a ton of practice to perform safely. It wouldn't be the MCU without some flying too. Thank goodness for wires and jerk vests to make Captain America soar. The behind the scenes peak that probably surprised us the most was seeing this stunt happening without any appearance of a harness or wires. This is definitely next level stunting. Then of course, there's this casual giant truck flip. This is seriously intense. As if complicated physical fights weren't tough enough, in Captain America the Winter Soldier, we had guns and, of course, the shield involved. 
Have you ever wondered how exactly they film car chase scenes? In this case, the cars weren't on a road at all. Check out how they're immobile with the green screen so they could add the CGI in after the fact. Get me off the grid! Let's be honest, the performers in Birds of Prey totally slayed. They looked almost effortless as they're doing insane stunts and tricky battles. Let's also not forget that they're doing all of this in heels and tight pants. Yikes. Now this is a pretty unique stunt. That's right, we're talking rollerblading. Margot Robbie is kind of unbelievable on those rollerblades, even with the running on the toes. Definitely not an easy thing to do. Just in case anyone was wondering, Mulan behind the scenes is pretty much the Mulan we see on our screens at home. All of these fierce battles took months of intensive training in traditional martial arts and weapons training. Check out those swords and bows and arrows. Need to run up a wall? The Mulan team has a solution for that. So is it just us or are these behind the scenes stunts still just as impressive as what we see in the final cut? It's not every day you see this on a train, but thanks to wires and jerk vests, the Captain Marvel team was able to make this a reality. While we know Larson was hooked up to wires like many of the other Marvel actors are, how exactly did they achieve her fantastical spinning and soaring? As we can see, she had this large spinning prong mechanism helping her navigate through space. Prove to me, you can beat me! We would kind of expect giant truck flips and car accidents to be done with CGI, considering how dangerous and expensive they are to shoot. But when they were filming The Dark Knight, the team clearly didn't take any shortcuts. For this insane stunt in particular, they had only one chance to get the shot. Talk about pressure. It was a huge risk, but fortunately, the stuntman who was up close and personal with the scene escaped unharmed. Impressively, the shot we see in the final cut is actually the original continuous take. We cannot get over how cool this beach battle scene looks. While Hippolyta defying gravity might have been added with CGI, for the most part, the scene we saw was actually real. One of the biggest challenges was shooting such a large group all at once. Every single person had to be perfectly in sync to pull this off. All of these horses also had to pull their weight on set. And from what we can see, they nailed it. This motorcycle stunt totally blew our minds. Special shout out to the camera guy who was also casually riding along. Naturally, this whole bridge had to be blocked off to make room to set up the stunt as safely as they could. Just the fact that the ground is wet is a whole other level of danger. Because of the weaving in and out of these very tight vehicles took a very skilled rider. So what did it take to help the Flash pull off his lightning speed? This trusty green screen treadmill did the trick. While it might seem simple, he has to run incredibly fast and doesn't have anything to hold on to. Combine that with a restrictive costume, it's a very dangerous situation. Yes, it was gross. The ingenuity of the teams involved in making the stunt magic happen is pretty incredible. Not to mention all those stunt horses. Which stunt did you think was the riskiest? 